What up, you guys? Happy Wednesday. Thank you guys so much, as always, for tuning back in. And let's get right into another recap here. So um, today, uh, I got obliterated again, right? This was my third red day in a row, and that is enough for me to um, call it on the week. So I'm down like somewhere between seven to $800 on the week. And yeah, this was my first uh, week scaling up, and it's obviously gone horrible. So I'm going to let my brother take over the next two days, and I'm really just going to have to kind of work on my risk management and just overall trading in more choppy conditions because that's where I've been going horribly wrong but yeah at times like now I really do hope you guys appreciate the transparency right in the channel because you know it's a bummy feeling obviously having to um, wake up early just to lose a ton of money and then knowing I have to make um, a red day recap later you know it sucks obviously but it is what it is and yeah it's just part of trading so I want to show you guys all the parts and be real and obviously you guys are going to have some bumps in the way too right trading isn't always just profiting always and yeah I really hope you guys can also just relate to this and maybe not feel like you're struggling alone so as far as that goes um right around here was when the market opened up and today we pretty much just traded um trying to find a support around these levels around the bottom VWAP and a high between the um, right around here at the top view up is where we hit the high and that's right along the line with this previous resistance area right that we've been having since yesterday even and I want to go ahead and show you guys the Nasdaq on the bigger picture time frames once again so you guys can see that today um, there there is a reason why we didn't get this enormous move up or down and Chop could have been expected because we've been trading between this kind of little range the past like week and there hasn't been any huge movement up or down besides this one day, right? We've really just been trading between the bottom and top VWAP and the moves have been somewhat choppy. The past week has been a little more choppier than recently and, and I've been finding myself getting faked out a lot. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but as far as where I went wrong and um, how I could go to approach it better. There is a lot of red and green candles mixed in the middle here. And any time the market is choppy, I always tell myself and I still find myself like I did today, um, trying to trade uh, the direction even though um, I shouldn't be. Like in this middle area is what I'm saying. I think ideally it's more realistic for me to just be very patient on days like this and wait for a better opportunity set up. So I can look, wait for the Nasdaq to fall around this level, the bottom VWAP for a play on TQQQ. And then vice versa, I can wait for the Nasdaq to approach the top VWAP for a play on SQQQ. But where I go wrong is I keep trying to buy in, in these middle sections here, let's say right around here, only to keep getting absolutely faked out, right? Because let's say I'll buy in for TQs, um, thinking the Nasdaq is going to keep pushing up. I'll buy in and average up, only to get caught in a big red candle sell out and then it just flushes back up you know I'll buy back in thinking it's gonna go I have confirmation only for it to get rejected right and that's if you guys if, I hope I was able to just make it a little clear for you guys in terms of what I mean when I say it's choppy right it's very easy to get faked out with where the direction is gonna go so I need to be aware of that and try not to trade towards the middle areas which are more choppy and I need to try and get into positions where they're a better deal, like I said. So I should be, uh, I should have been patient, basically. And I should have gotten towards the bottom view out for a play on TQQQ. Because it makes sense, right? Previously, it bounced um, there two times before. So it was pretty likely with this chop, we we're going to see another leg up. And we did end up having this nice gap up. We even broke this resistance area and continue to push, right? And ultimately, we did hit a resistance level right around here. And we ended up falling and selling back off, right? And yeah, that's basically where I want to leave you guys at. The market is in like iffy territory. It's looking like it's not really sure whether it wants to try and find some type of support and push up or continue to keep falling down. But as far as where it's at now, it's still trending below the blue EMA line here and the green SMA line here. And it's making lower highs and lower lows, so it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if we did if we did see some type of dip. But as always, 
Like I said, it is possible maybe we could bounce off this SMA line and find a higher low to keep going. Just right now, the market is in uh, really clear territory, and that's why I think personally it's been a little more choppy. And yeah, I need to take time to uh, take a step back and really just focus on better tactics because I am I've just really been struggling this week. And yeah. So thank you guys so much once again for tuning back in. I hope you guys all got something out of the video and you guys will see my brother taking over the next two days, but I'll see you guys all the following week. Thank you guys and take care.